Nigeria is open for business. Uh, it's a transformative Nigeria. We have had consecutive democratic elections since 1999. And from there, we have been able to change from one government to the other and transit peacefully from one particular party to another. Nigeria is a stable democracy. Since I took over in May this year, we've embarked on transformative changes. All obstacles hindering on businesses is being removed. We are reforming the economy based on the principle and philosophy of good governance. For us in Nigeria, we have the largest population in Africa and the biggest economy and biggest opportunity for all of you. We are reforming the economy to accommodate foreign investment. Aside from being the first and the leader in energy sector, the gas hydrogen is a matter of you know, time for us. We have a huge deposit of gas, and you have a friendly environment. Equally, we are looking at our Physical Responsibility Act, lowering taxes, reforming our financial institutions to accommodate foreign investment. We are ready to partner with you. We have the youngest vibrant youth population, if you add that, in Africa all through. And I believe Nigeria is a leading population in that area. Equally, we have what mother economy needs, well-educated population. Equally, we have the opportunity to digitalize, and we are on the rapid move on that digitalization of our economy and environment. So telecommunication is one of the best area to invest. Agriculture is one of the best area to invest. We have a very mobile population, and I want to thank all I've served for his last visit to Nigeria. Uh, we are able to have very fruitful discussions as to the potential of the country and the possibility for African growth and development. This compact with Africa is a decade behind. That is the truth. And uh, you cannot afford to be bad. The perception of Africa as being a friendly business environment is just a risk aversion. There's no environment without its own unique risk. We have our challenges. If we don't recognize those challenges, it's another thing. We recognize those challenges and we are working at it. And we are providing the best environment for you to invest today, you can move your money in and out as you wish. Please, 
Forget those dark days of military incursion in our politics. It's gone, and I believe it's gone forever. You will have the best return on investment if you invest in Africa, and particularly in Nigeria. Thank you very much. Uh, I say yes, because uh, the promotional effort of and the chancellor as I visited you Africa recently, is equally an indication that Europe is serious to do business with Africa. The good governance promotion in all sectors of our economy in Africa and stability of governance in Nigeria in particular, I would say, it is an indicator that, yes, changes are at the door, not uh, far off. Equally, we should continue to understand the data of Africa. When you look at Nigeria alone, the vehicular density of that country, a call for a sincere commitment to assembly plants, various auto parts, automotive parts, and all that. You can invest. There's no way if good governance in your corporate body is employed, there's no way you lose money. That's it. Yes, uh, on Simmons, I agree that near obsolete equipment is not the answer, it's not the solution to what we needed in Africa. The critical path to success it should be able to leapfrog from where we are today to the next generation of development. And we are opening the door for all of that. The energetic population of youth and well-educated population that is available is enough to attract in, in, in every business, human resources is a great capital incentive for investors. Yes, rule of law is a must because business, yes, may be cowardly. If you are bogged down in bigger, you know, bureaucratic uh, problems, you might not have the necessary investment that you expect. We are reforming the rule of law. We are adhering to that. And we definitely will continue to promote the opportunity given today by Europe. Thank you very much. Thank you, His Excellency Tim Nubung.